Coffin Classics. I'm your host, Edgar Winter, and I'm here with my ravishing new wife. How's it going, Storm? Storm Winter! Winter. <laughs> Hi, hon. Hi, how you doing? I'm great. I know, I'm doing great, too. Yeah, I can't we explain. came back from our honeymoon, and we went over to uh, Romania and uh, checked out that the That was nuts. Yeah, mm -hmm. went to uh, my father's castle and checked it, uh, checked it out. Yeah. yeah, a lot of good food there too. Yeah, yeah, a lot of good food there. Yeah, yeah. them Romanians still taste mm. the same way I remember. Yummy. Them. <laughs> so we actually have a wonderful show for you tonight. Mm -hmm. We are showing the 1959 movie, The Giant Gila Monster, and oh man, I love it because I'm into hot rods and stuff like that, you know. Right. And I love the fact that it's got hot rodders in it. What's wrong? Are you missing a tooth? I don't know. I can't look in the mirror. I have no reflection. You're missing a tooth. What? You're missing a fang. Oh, no. You have your no. tooth. You're missing your fang. You know what? What an happened? El an elder told me that, being that I fell in love and I got married, that I'm going to start losing my will to hunt and kill. So I must be miss my fang. I a fang is disappearing. That means my other one's going to disappear. I'm going to, I ain't going to be a vampire no more. Well, what will I be? You're going to be a vampire. Yeah, but what about you? How do we fix that? I, I got to go kill something. I gotta, you, you need to go. I got to go, to... go kill something to get my evilness back. Uh, whatever you got to do. You got to do what you got to do. Well, you you know what? I can't bite someone with one fang. We're going to have to go. We're going to have to tag team somebody. It has to be someone special, <laughs> though. Tag team. <laughs> What's that? Has to be somebody special, though. We need to figure this out. Oh, uh, even if we, we'll take, we'll just go out and we got this. We'll find somebody who's coming out at Denny's or something. Ah. After you eat a greasy burger or <laughs> something, Denny's. you know. Oh, yeah. yummy! That's yeah, really that, well, yummy. that tastes really good. It actually yeah. is. Or or go to some nightclub and get some someone walking out of a nightclub. Yeah, get you a know? little loopy. Yeah, get a little loopy in the process. Right. <laughs> <laughs> So, anyway, we have uh, Captain Paul on the show tonight. Right. And we're going to have on, on uh, because he just recently did a uh, steampunk event in Kenosha. Yes, yeah. which I yeah. am so upset we, we weren't wish, able to make. I wish we were able to make it, but, you yeah. know, things just, you know, Sorry, didn't Captain uh, Paul. pan out for us. But, oh, I'm sure he'll forgive us. Oh, yes. Yeah. For yeah. sure. And I guess Mom's lurking around the big uh, castle somewhere. She's checking Dungeon. everything out. Yeah, everywhere yeah. she is. You know. Yeah. She's got to know her her grounds. Yeah. So anyway, get back to this giant Gila monster movie. Yes. Uh, it's I want one. I want one so okay. bad. No. Please. Okay. Can I have one? Please. Yes, please. please. Yeah, we'll okay. get you a Gila monster. Oh. Why not? We got all kinds of weird animals in this castle anyway. So. Well, right. And we got a talking cat. You know, we got Chuki. Right. You know, and yeah, and we got, you know, alligators in a moat, lampreys. Yeah, now you guys got lampreys. Oh, boy. Giant Next one. thing she's going to want is probably a piranha. No, what I, the next thing, well, I would say. Anything but spiders. A dragon. Oh, a dragon would be cool. Yeah. A Komodo? A Komodo one, because yeah, we already was, have dragons. Yeah, so. because I was going to say, a Komodo dragon, at least they'll, they'll bite someone and yeah. they'll, they'll start rotting. So, because right. they're venomous, they're, they're venomous, so poisonous. Yeah. So, anyway, getting back to this uh, giant Gila monster movie we're going to show mm -hmm. for you tonight. It was actually produced by a really cool uh, producer that put out some really good movies, uh, Ken Curtis. Yeah, yeah, I've heard of him. Yeah, mm-hmm. I've and, watched movies with yeah. you, with him, and whatnot, yeah. And it's actually starring uh, Don Sullivan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, Lisa Simone. Mm-hmm. And who else? Fred Graham. Yes, that's right, Fred Graham. <laughs> he doesn't so, think I watch yeah. a movie, but yeah, I always watch yeah. movies. But you know, what's really cool about this movie, before we get into it, uh, it if you ever, if you watch this movie... Kind of think about it a little bit because it kind of. I'm, I'm looking at Elvis Presley here because it was during the Elvis <laughs> Presley era. Oh my God! And Elvis Presley. There's a DJ in here, a really hip hop DJ. You uh -huh. know, that uh, back at, back then the DJs were like really something. You know. Right. And uh, he's like really into Chase. Uh huh. You know, he's really he thinks Chase is an awesome singer. And if you listen to Chase sing, I really think he's kind of like a. James Dean type Elvis Presley. Character. I think that would be perfect. 
that would be a perfect way of explaining him. Yeah, it, it's turning. It's fun. I, I think you guys are all going to adore him. So after, after watching this movie, yeah. you're actually going to want to put in Blue Hawaii starring Elvis Presley. Absolutely. Because I, I just, we it, that's the way that I feel. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the way I feel. That's the way I feel. That because of how the, yeah. everybody with the get together, the yeah. dancing, the, the singing. Yeah. The sock yeah. hops, the the the, the um, hot rodders, and right. you know the singing and all that stuff. And yeah. I just want to watch Elvis. You know, I grab know. yourself some bloody popcorn and uh, and some raw liver and some raw chicken gizzards. You know, and, and I want to sit down and watch Blue Hawaii. Yeah. yeah. Well, or know, what's that's that his choice. I don't yeah. eat animal. He does. <laughs> what's that? What's that other movie that's got the um, the two the guy and the girl in it? That's Bikini Beach or something like that, or. Are you talking about Annette Florencello? And, yeah, uh, yeah, um, yeah. Oh, yeah. God, I don't know. Frankie Avalon. Yeah, Frankie Avalon and Annette Florencello. Yeah. What's the name of that movie? Beach again? Blanket. Yeah, no, Beach. Yeah, something. Beach Blanket Party okay. or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Beach Party. Yeah, Beach Party. <laughs> yeah, not Bikini <laughs> Bottom. We're thinking SpongeBob here. No. no. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> so. Although I gotta ask Paul a question about that because I just wonder if he uh, took. Uh, the tentacles from Squiggle. How are you squiggling. feeling? With your tooth. I'm feeling kind of lopsided. Yeah. 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 So, anyway, we also have uh, Igor's Morbid Cooking Tips cool on eat. tonight. And being that this is football season, uh, he's got a really good uh, tip on snacks. Woo. Yeah. So. It's always right. fun to watch. Yes. And yes yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Okay, let's turn you into this movie, The Giant Gila Monster, and get to it. of the West, there are still vast and virtually unexplored regions, bleak and desolate, where no human ever goes and no life is ever seen. It is as though the land had been posted by God. It is in these lonely areas of impenetrable forest and dark shadows that the Gila monster still lives. How large the dreaded Gila monster grows, no man can say. Charging you with an entertainment tag. Oh, I'm charging for everything else. Hi, Spook. Hi, Kevin. Hey, uh, how are the new clocks on the bomb?
Where's Pat and Liz? I thought we'd be the last ones here. Yeah, they're probably out spooking around somewhere. <laughs> Maybe they broke down. Not in his heap. I worked on it myself. Oh, that, makes it too cool. that wouldn't make any difference if he goofed a speed shift or something. Yeah, and that squirrel is just the one that could do it. Hey, John. Oh, wonderful. What kept you so long, Lisa? Oh, Mr. Wheeler smoked two cigars at the table after dinner. And I could not get out of the dishes until he was through. What time is that, Lee? Pa did not come home for dinner. That's why his father was so upset. There's old man Harris. Man, that fella has a jewel of a car. Well, luck, man. Yeah, well. <laughs> hey, oh, hi, Mr. Harris. Hi, Mr. Harris. Hi, how are you young Yeah, hey. hello, fisherman. You want to sell that deuce? Why are you fellas always after me to buy my car? That 32 is the ideal stock to convert to a bomb. Buying a car, son, is just like getting married. Or going to New York City. Everybody ought to do it once, but nobody ought to do it twice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, I can get you a good price on that. Paid $695 for that car 26 years ago. Ten years ago, wasn't worth a dime. Last month, I turned down 100 for it. When it gets back up to 695 again, I'll sell it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey, Spook, uh, give me a snort of that there soda bar. <laughs> hey, gang, you know, this will be Lisa's first trip to a drive-in. Oh, we have drive-ins in France, too. Yeah? Yes, I went twice with my brother on his motor scooter. <laughs> oh, on a motor scooter. Now, that's my idea of absolutely nothing to do. <laughs> yeah. Okay, come on. Don't be too late. We're going to pull on out. Hey, Chase. If the road's clear, I'll drag you to Bartonell's Corner. Oh, I can't. I'm driving barefoot. You still riding on that old rubber? Yeah. Hey, Spook, when Pat and Liz get here, will you tell them that we went to the drive-in and for them to catch up? Thank you. We sure will. And I'll give you 150 bucks. You're talking like my foot's asleep. <laughs> Who do you think he's playing with, kids? <laughs> <laughs> Sheriff, what's the trouble, Mr. Wheeler? Pat didn't come home last night. He didn't? No, evidently he was out with Liz Humphreys. She didn't come home either. Oh? I want you to find out why. And don't leave a stone unturned in doing so. Do I make myself clear? I understand, Mr. Wheeler. There weren't any wrecks reported last night. Your son, Pat, he's about 19, isn't he? That's right. Just a year older than I was when I got married. You think they eloped? He wouldn't dare. I didn't say that. But if they were out together all night, you better hope they have. This is a missing persons report, and I want to know what you're going to do about it. Well, I'll send in an APB on both of them and the car. I don't think it'll do much good if they went off to get married. They'd already be across the state line. Well, if he got married, I'll wring his neck. If you ask me, it's that Chase Winston. He's older than the others. Sets them all wrong. Why, he's got more influence on Pat than I have. Chase Winstead does more about keeping them in line than getting them in trouble than I know. He's supported his mother and sister ever since his dad died on one of your drill rigs. Your son could take a page out of his book, Mr. Wheeler. When I get through with my son, he won't have a book left. Now, you locate him or I'll have your job. If you want to be the only peace officer in 10,000 square miles and 1,000 miles of road, you're welcome to it. I'll do everything I can to locate both of them, Mr. Wheeler.
Hi, Sheriff. Hi, sir. Got a new set of wheels. Yeah, new to me. That clunker I had, I'd be chasing you boys on a bicycle in a couple of days. Oh, come on, Sheriff. Outside of Pat Wheeler, we haven't had a ticket in our gang in eight months. Oh, I was just kidding. What's the mileage on it? Oh, about 35,000. County bought it from the state. Those lucky stiffs on highway get a new car every year. Let me have it for a couple of days and I'll tune it up for you. Oh, you'd choke it off so I could never catch you. You couldn't catch that deuce of mine right now. Now, let me have that patrol car. I'll turn it into a slingshot that'll catch anybody. We'll make a deal. Hey. Just between us, Liz Humphreys and Pat Wheeler didn't get home last night. They were supposed to meet us at the drive-in, but they didn't show up. We wondered what happened. Were they in any kind of trouble? What do you mean? You know. Uh, no, I don't think so. Chase, level with me. I'm almost positive they weren't in any trouble. I'd know. Do you think they might have run off to get married? Well, they've been going steady for over a year now. And I know they talked about it, but... No, not like for right now. Did Pat have any money stashed? <sighs> yeah, some. Like how much? Well, he was talking about getting a new blower and a mill. That's about 500 bucks. Where did he get that kind of money? He saved it. His old man gives him a good allowance when he's not mad at him. What bank does he use? None. He's afraid his dad would find out. He could have been saving it to get married, couldn't he? It's his money. I guess he could do whatever he wants with it. But you know, if he eloped, his old man had put him down flat. I know. But Pat's smart enough to provide for himself till the old man cooled off. Pat's the only one of the gang I couldn't slow down. Did you check the hospitals? Yeah. Where could I find the rest of the gang? Well, I don't know about Bob and Gordy, but Chuck and Rick went over to Easton. They wanted to check with the Wheelcats about next Saturday night's platter party. Next Saturday night? Yeah. You warn the gang I'll be cruising that pass that night. No dragon. Okay, I'll tell them. If you get any postcards from those two, let me know. Hello, Sheriff. I don't have any word for you, Miss Humphreys. She's a good girl, Sheriff. I ain't worried. How come you drove around the truck all night then? You don't think she might have eloped, do you? Could be. She's pretty close mouthed about her affairs. More the likes of Wheeler. Ain't marrying our kind of folks. You don't have a phone, so I just dropped around to let you know I'm doing everything I can. We know that, Sheriff, and we sure do appreciate it. Sorry, Elizabeth put you to so much trouble. It's never any trouble looking after kids. Let me know if I can help, Sheriff. Thanks, Ed. Thank you, Sheriff. Goodbye. We have got to quit worrying this way. We've got to trust in the Lord. We've got to pray. Morris? Morning, Sheriff. Let me smell your breath. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Hi, Chase. Hi. Did you get that diesel tractor fixed? Yeah, she's all set. Good. My boy, that's one trip I'm glad I don't have to make very often. The stuff heavy? I'll help you unload. No, not heavy. It's hot. Wheeler's sinking another oil well and he's afraid of fire when it comes in. There's four quarts of nitroglycerin out there in that cab. He wants us to keep it out back in the storehouse. You know, last winter, when number 21 came in, I made $100 with that stuff. Dad showed me how to use it. 
It's not so bad, as long as it doesn't get nervous. Well, I'm sorry I was so late getting back. But with that cargo, I was afraid to do over five miles an hour. Oh, it's not so dangerous as long as it's in a nitro case. But I took these out of the case. Holy smoke. You're lucky to be standing here talking about it. I'll put it in the shed. Much action this afternoon? Um, Sheriff got a new patrol car. We'll get a tune-up job out of that. Is that nitro safe out there? Well, if it decides to blow, it's not safe anywhere. I'll get it. That's not our ring. No, it's the Sheriff's. If there's been a wreck, I get a tow job out of it. I also have a deal with the ambulance if someone's hurt. <laughs> you work all the angles, don't you, Chase? Mr. Compton, I have to. Hello, Sheriff. Yes? About 12 miles out beyond the Red Schoolhouse, a car has run into the ditch. Oh? Yeah, it's a pretty bad wreck. What kind of a car? Well, it's a sedan, a Pontiac, I believe. Someone could have been hurt pretty bad. Maybe she'd get out there pretty quick. Uh, did you stop and investigate? There's been a wreck 12 miles out of town. Where's the wrecker? Home. I used the A-frame to build a doggone rock garden. Look, you take your car and keep the city wreckers off. I'll get our wrecker and follow you. on that party line a while ago. Well, it cost me to get on that line with you. I figured since it was on your call station anyway, you wouldn't care. Yeah. This is a pretty good one. Yeah. This engine's still warm. Say, did you see the skid marks out here? They go at a direct right angle to the direction of travel. Yeah. No digs in the macadam, either. Somebody was hurt in here. There's blood all over the upholstery. Let's take a look around. I've already looked around. There's nobody here. Real good? Yeah, real good. Well, maybe somebody came by and picked them up. It could have been the people that called in. No, they'd have said something. Well, then why didn't they wait? People will go to the trouble to report an accident, but they won't stay around. Don't want to find out the reports. So what do you do now? Well, I'll take the license number and engine number. Call headquarters. Maybe they've got a light on them. Chase, how are your headlights? Fine, just fine. Both of them burning? How many times have I warned you about getting that headlamp fixed? Twice. But the first time it was just a suggestion. Seal beam only cost $4. Had some unexpected expenses. Oh, Missy? Yeah, the doctor said she'd be able to start walking again pretty soon and took all the money I had to make a part down payment on her braces. You know, I think this is a complete washout. You probably got a screwdriver. I don't think the insurance company has missed one of those headlamps. I hope you're enjoying the giant, uh, I, I call it Gila Monster, but uh, she has a different word mm -hmm. for it. What is it? Actual that? pronunciation of it is Gila, Gila. Gila Monster. Monster. So it's a giant Gila Monster. H, with the H. Gila, Gila. But why they got Gila. it on a movie? Gila is G-I-L-A. That's, that's how you spell it. Oh, I'm confused. That's how you, you know, spell it, You know, it doesn't it, take much to confuse a vampire. 
I, yeah, you I know Confuse that. a vampire by spelling. Them. Right. And give him a rope of knots. Put some salt. Put down. some salt down because we gotta we gotta count every grain of salt. Why does that affect you that much? I, because you're a witch too. Yeah, witch slash vampire. Hmm. Yeah, or your mom probably has something to do with it. Oh. Yeah. In which I, 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 mommy is somewhere. Yeah, around, I see so. her lurking around. She says, "I'm, oh, I'm going." Oh, she wants so to come down. You, but we need to yeah. feed you. Yeah, yeah, we need to feed you. So I need to kill something. Yes. So, all right. But anyway, uh, the movie. Mm -hmm. uh, kids are disappearing already. Yeah. And uh, Chase and the Hot Rodders are actually in pretty good with the with the sheriff. Right. Yeah. So that's that's really that's really cool. Right. So you know, back in the back in the day, I I remember hot rodders from you know I used to pick on a few here and there for food. Oh, and they and had some the great. cops didn't get along with them very well. No, they didn't. Yeah, yeah. they had some really great cars. Though. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, and they were they I were keep, hot rods. I keep in ha I keep having backlashes of James Dean and Elvis Presley in this movie. You know, and because of yeah, yeah. The Just the, the hot rods, the hot rods. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, the old roasters and stuff like that. And you know, I'm just thinking, man, James Dean's going to come busting out in here, you know, one of these minutes. <laughs> but uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah. But uh, what do you think of the monster? I think I it's want a one. big I purple people here. I really, really want one. It reminds me of that song. One. Paul was singing it earlier. You said I could. One eye. Been. One horn giant purple people eater or something like that. Oh boy, here we go. We'll have to talk to him when he comes on. But you want one? I want one. You said you'd get me one, right? Yeah, I, I told you I'd get you one, but it's got to be at least 30 feet long. Oh, <laughs> we're going to keep feeding it. Mm -hmm. What's that? It grows. It's a giant. Yeah, well, I've got a few people. You got to feed, feed it and feed it and feed it. We got it. I yeah. got it. Yeah. You got it. Okay. I got it. We got it. All right. Yeah, I, I know there's a few that I could, I could feed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I get it. Yay! Okay. I'm getting one. Yeah. Be and, careful uh, around the castle when you enter. Yep. Yep. Definitely. But do you want a purple or red, pink or what? I want purple. Yeah. Just like this Gila monster in this movie. You know what I like? I it's, know it's pink yeah. in the movie, which is so super cool and beautiful. But. I like the fact that when they're doing this movie, rather than doing a clay animation one, they're mm -hmm. doing actually showing a real Gila monster. Yes, through the yeah. whole yeah. entire movie, a yeah. real one. So, yeah. And there's a couple scenes we're going to talk about later in the movie about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, anyway, what we are going to do right now is uh, we are going to have Captain Paul come on and yeah. talk about a recent event in, in Kenosha. <gasps> Captain Paul, where Paul, are you? Come Captain on Paul. in. Did I hear you talking about feeding? Should, should I really be coming in here? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm safe. You're safe. You know, you're you know fighters you know. and vampires. We have a neutral right. respect for each other. Right. Yeah. I, just, I, I do have to ask you nervous. one question. You're good. 42. No. Oh, no. Uh, what I really want to know is, uh, did you eat Squidward and use his tentacles in your... I'm, you know, that Fifth Amendment thing? I'm going to go with that. Oh, okay. Okay. I was, I was just going to wonder because... Mm -hmm. I like SpongeBob, and I don't want to see well, Squidward get killed. You gotta find parts where you can find them, and steampunk is all about, you know, taking okay, things, you know, repurposing I'm gonna, them. So I'm gonna look into that. I'm gonna look into that, and uh, I will see you next Tuesday. So. Uh oh. <laughs> Was that oh boy. <laughs> next Tuesday. I have no idea what's even in store next Tuesday. I have not been filled in yet. Uh, it's just uh, a little bit of humor there. Paul, Captain Paul, most he's uh, humor, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit of humor. <laughs> so anyway, Paul, glad uh, glad to you know get you off your pirate ship here and uh, talk about uh, the recent. Yeah, thank you what? for coming. What is the problem? Um, something's wrong. Huh? You, you seem lopsided or something. Oh, that's why you were talking about the feeding thing. Yes, yeah, I uh, actually. And you, I, are an elder, and you know. Yeah. If I don't get to feed on someone terrible. soon, it is. I know you. I was told by an elder that if I don't get the feed pretty soon, I am going to turn into a human being. I feel bad. So, yeah, you mean somebody else. I'm going to turn into else. a human. Yeah, yeah. I'm good. You're good. I, yeah, I, don't wanna, got, I don't want to stay old. So. I got love in my heart. I got love in my heart right now because I just married the love of my life. And, uh, and you know, and she's so ravishing. I think that one just shrunk a little. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. You do. Better get right off. Um, yeah. Right I, got after show, after, get after, off yeah. I got him. He's good. Okay. All right. No. So anyway, Captain Paul, we are showing a giant uh, 
Gila Monster, Gila Monster, or Schwinn Monster, whatever mm -hmm. you want to, what do you, it's whatever Gila. you want to call it, the Schwag right. Monster, Gila. or, Gila. or, you know, as, uh, Does it have Snoop a laser Dog. on its head? Oh, that's the shirt. As Snoop Dogg right. would call no, it. Right, no, it has the tongue that yeah. has, it's a split tongue. Right. As Snoop Dogg would call it, the Shindizzle Monster. Uh, <laughs> you know, most uh, of them aren't that big. Yeah, okay. You're going to have a fire, hard, that's a, that's hard a time finding a 30 whistle. foot one for a... Yeah. It'll grow. That's definitely Pretty a sure. dizzle for the whistle yeah. for the minute. Yeah, I, I, I want it like that, but the more you feed it and what where it lives, how much habitat it has, well, they, they depends on how yeah. much they grow. I'm just oh, going to yes. sit back here and listen to you guys talk. <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, anyway, um, <laughs> what happened this week? How did the show turn out? Oh, pretty good, except, you know, some people didn't show up. Why well, uh, are you so? I feel so bad. I am feel well, so bad. I'll forgive you, like next year. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, yeah. How well, did it go? It by turned out pretty good. We didn't have a lot of vendors, but a couple that were their first time vendors. Okay. I've got. I'm going to be the out, retail outlet. It looks like for flesh peddlers, which sounds like something a lot weirder than it is. It's just leather work. And, okay. But it's fantastic Ooh, leather work. Leather work, yeah. yes. Those guys are great. Mm. Stuff that I want to make, but it's like, yeah, right. It takes a long time, and working with leather is hard on your hands. And, yes. and I'm an old fart, so that's why I don't want to get bit, because I don't want to stay 64 my, you know, for <laughs> hundreds of years. Mm. If I was going to get bit, it would be like 30 years ago. You know, but uh, Too late for that. But time travel, yeah, I'm into steampunk, so maybe that'll work. Mm. Mm. Interesting. Yep. So, uh, so did you, it, was it a good turnout? Did you get a lot of uh, public people uh, come? Yeah, I got some new customers for the store. A couple of people were out for their first uh, event. Mm -hmm. uh, we were supposed to have somebody there with food, but they didn't turn out. Uh, didn't get there either. A few people oh. were scared by the rain. They yeah. didn't know that yeah. they would change it to the inside if it rained at the last minute. Yeah. Right. But uh, it still went well. well. I had a lot of fun. People That's came good. out looking around, you know, getting out of the house. Yeah. Because there's not a lot to do lately. Right. right yeah, right. yeah, absolutely. So. It's, it's hard to get back into the groove with the COVID virus and everything. And uh, I just, uh, you know, I was having problems with, uh, you know, getting out of my coffin. I just couldn't get out of my coffin. And uh, and I just was feeling blah that day. So I figured, well, I don't, I don't want to, you know, take a chance of, uh, you know, Things happening, so <laughs> yeah, that creaky wood knee wood sound was your knee, not your coffin. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to have uh, Abigail work up a potion, some or Ooh. some kind of a lubrication for my Speaking knees. Speaking of Abby, I'm I need to go find her in a little while. What was that? I have a grease circuit put on it. Just yeah, like a grease circuit, yeah. and just shoot some grease in there every once in a while. Yeah. Nothing could go wrong there. Right? Yeah, right. Well, that's Gotta if work. I don't turn right. human. I mean, I may turn human here. No, you're not. I'm I'm taking you hunting. Okay, all We're right. Hunting. Okay. You have your cool. Oh wait, you don't need them. No. Right. The vampires. It's always human season. Yeah. That's Again, yeah. The, sure, yeah. You're good though. <laughs> you're good though. See, yeah. I I have. Yeah. Well, I did have pizza, so you know the garlic will probably. As soon as you hit me, it'd yeah. be a problem. Yeah. But then again, it depends I on what kind of pizza you have. Too, and I can still have garlic as a sandwich, so. Maybe You're I not making me feel any better. <laughs> <laughs> totally good. Chief, thanks, okay. thanks for reassuring me. I'll, I'll, I'll see you later. <laughs> You're good. You're good. You're good. Who's that guy over there that's not saying anything? I, I'm just listening to you guys <laughs> talk, you know, so. <laughs> anyway, uh, what we are going to do is we're going to uh, thank Paul for coming on. And, uh, yeah, thank you. And we're going to put you back into the show. I think mm -hmm. Mother's going to be coming in here pretty soon, so... Yep. <laughs> I don't know. She's from around, but I, yeah. I, I'm hearing her. Closer yeah, and closer. so I'm sure she's going to check in on us to see what's going on. Mm -hmm. so, oh, she well, never does that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, you want to live in this castle? She tried mm -hmm. nailing my coffin shut a couple days ago. Yeah. You have no idea. Yeah. She should use screws if you like. She, <laughs> don't say nothing. She might be hearing. Anyway, my friends, get back to the movie The Giant Gila Monster. Yes. Look at this. Half a pack of cigarettes, one unlit. That suitcase don't belong to any car thief. He was around here too long. 
I'll take it in. I'll put it in the car for you. Somebody will be around to claim it. See you later, son. Right, Sheriff. Bed. I got your phone call. When I was serving dinner to Mr. Wheeler, he became very angry. He said if I saw you again, he would have me sent back to France. He can't do that. Oh, yes, he can. He's my sponsor. He put up the bond. That was to guarantee that you wouldn't become a ward of the state. Now, we don't have to worry about that. You know how to speak English well enough to get a job anywhere. He said it's immoral for me to vote with you. What's immoral about? Nothing. I don't want to go away, Chase. You won't have to, honey. You think it's your fault that Pat ran away? Well, he can think whatever he wants to think. Shouldn't take it out on you. But we hadn't better take any chances. You go back inside. And look, don't worry. Everything's going to be OK. Seven to a box, no corners. I'm a round house. Sorry, I asked, Mr. Uh, Smith. Horatio Alger Smith. Sorry, I asked that, too. How'd you get in the ditch? You fall asleep? Oh, no, no, no. There was, there was this big pink and black thing drove right in front of me. It had stripes this wide. Sure, sure. Look, you come up and sit in my truck. And I'll get your car out. OK, that sounds like a good deal. Who knows, maybe we can. Hey, man, you can't drive this car. Fender's cutting the wheel. Sure I can. The motor works, see? But thanks for everything, Dad. You're a cotton-picking friend. Okay, just a second. I'll get out of the way. What is it? Now move over, Dad. I want to pass. What is it now? I think you better give me a tow, Dad. The steering wheel won't work. Okay. You take a nap. My baby, she rocks and rolls and rocks whenever she walks. My baby, she rocks and rolls and rocks whenever she talks. My baby's a rock and roll and tippy toe and never know and always blowing, baby. My baby, she swings and sings and swings whenever I bring her things. She swings and sings and swings for little diamond rings. Swing and sing and bells are ring and happy playing and pleasure bringing, baby. My baby, she rocks 
and roll and rocks whenever she walks my baby she swings and sing and swings whenever i bring her things a rock and roll and tippy toe and never know and always glow and swing and sing and bells a ring and happy fling pleasure ring and baby good afternoon mr smith like man guys have had their heads chopped off for less than that for what for feeling so doggone good when I feel so bad. How'd I get here, anyway? I told you in this morning, remember? As a matter of fact, I remember very, very little. You said somebody ran you into the ditch, but I didn't see any other cars. How'd you ever get me in that bed, anyway? I carried you in there, and I sat on you till you fell asleep. That must have been quite a chore. You wouldn't have gotten very far in your condition. Well, look, I really appreciate it. Uh, Chase Winstead. Chase. And I, uh, by golly, how much I owe you? Well, I bent the fender out from the wheel. Want me to fill it in and touch it up for you? No, I don't think so. I'll, uh, get that done when I get back to the city. Here, have some coffee. Oh, great. How about two bucks? Man, this coffee's worth two bucks all by itself. How about the toe? No, I was coming this way anyway. I. Missed out on a little studying time. Make it three bucks. <laughs> Dad, you go to school? Well, sort of. I take a correspondence course in engineering. Well, look, I really feel indebted to you, and I'd like to do something to pay you back. Now, next time you're in the town, there's my card. Look me up, will you? All right, will do. Okay. On, oh, by the way. Buy yourself a sponge rubber hammer, man. <laughs> All right, I will. I'll see you, Chase. Thank you. Steamroller Smith, the disc jockey. Mr. Smith! Two twenties. How about that? Howdy, son. Have you heard anything from Pat and Liz? No, nothing. Chase, I'm in a jam, and I need your help. Wheeler swings a big enough stick in this country to make it rough, and he's doing it. Oh, I can understand his concern about Pat, but I just don't have a big enough force to comb this area inch by inch. Is he demanding that? There was a man killed in a wreck in a small canyon in a big city last year. And it took them 19 days to find him. I don't know what they expect of me. Yeah, I remember that. Well, look, Sheriff, maybe I can get tomorrow off and... I'll get the gang and we can go out and search that pass. At least you can put that in your report. I was hoping you'd say that. I can start at the upper end and work towards you. Uh, can I have your help in another matter? Sure, what? You remember how those skid marks just went at right angles to the direction the car was traveling? That's right, they did. Headquarters think I'm nuts. Well, then they're nuts. Didn't, didn't you send them that picture? Well, I'm not the world's greatest photographer. The pictures didn't come out. You can't see the skid marks on the blacktop. Well, that's what happened. I even wiped up the rubber dust with my fingers. You might have to sign a statement to that effect for me. You got it. Look, you can even see the bald spots on the tires where they went sideways. At... Yeah, that's the spot, all right. But there's another thing that puzzles me. Yeah, what? How those tires got off of that car and almost on yours. Well, look, on, on this wreck, they'd rot. And on my, on my rod, they could prevent a blowout, maybe even an accident. Well, take good care of them in case the owner shows up. Right. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Right. Today. We've covered half the roads in this county. Yeah. How about that ravine? That runs along here for about eight miles. We'll start from here and you come from the other end. All right. Right.
down around here. Look at that. What is it, Shay? Looks like an animal of some sort drug something along here. You mean a wild animal here? Sure, could be anything, even a mountain lion. Oh, come on. Ooh, that's bitter. Must have an awful lot of mineral in it. Come on, let's go. Oh, wait a minute. Let's take a breather first. Chet, I, I don't like this place. Let's go back. Are you afraid? Now, you come on over here with me and sit in the shade and I'll let this go. Bottom of the wash. Two or three miles back by the old reservoir. Were they in it? No, nothing. Uh, drive me back to my car and I'll bring up the wrecker. I wonder what that was. Oh, probably just a little rock slide. For some reason, this place gives me the creeps. It always has. Lisa! Turn the motor on. The winch is already engaged. Now, if I yell, turn the key off. Okay. But it's all right. Yeah. We'll meet you back at the garage, okay? Okay, let's go, Jenny. Where did you find it? By the reservoir and William's wash. They weren't in it. No sign of blood or anything. You know, I think they were thrown clear. 
Did you search the area? Yeah, Gordy went down the ravine for about a mile, and oh, he looked beyond the wreck for a couple of hundred yards. Wouldn't you say, Gordy? At least that far. Did you see any footprints? No, none. This thing's been around just about the same as that sedan. Like it had been hit with a 10-ton rubber mallet. It's a pretty rough trip down that cliff that could have done it. Yeah. I'll have to go over that area with a rake. You know, I've been thinking, if, if Liz and Pat had have eloped, they wouldn't have taken his car, because old man Wheeler would have it traced right off. Why, well, maybe he stored it, Chase, and then it was stolen. Yeah, if it was stolen and somebody parked it there, well, the brakes could have faded and it rolled off the edge. It would be a strange coincidence if they came back to this part of the county. Possibility makes some sense, though. I'll get my gear and dust for fingerprints. Gosh, I wish you boys had called me before you drug it out. I might have found some clues to help us out. I'm sorry, Sheriff. The hard part's telling Mr. Wheeler. I sure dread that. It's not like we've found them there. He's sure gonna raise Ned, because I didn't find this wreck sooner. Where's Mr. Compton? Oh, he went down to the field with a load of fuel oil. Back in two or three hours. I'm gonna close up. I'll see you later. Uh, well, I hope you got that information uh, we talked about, you know, with Captain Paul. Uh, yes. You know, kind of filled you in that, uh, yes, events are starting to happen now, uh, even though the COVID virus is still going, you know, crazy, but people are just realizing, hey, we can still social distance and do events. And well, hello, so, Mommy. Oh, there she is, finally. <laughs> yeah. So Did you, you miss me? Do I, I have to answer that? that? I heard that there's some kind of I amendment out there called the Fifth Amendment. I think you should answer very carefully. Well, I heard that there's some kind of amendment out there that I can use called the Fifth Amendment. So, hmm. <laughs> Captain Paul told me. Yeah. What happened to your teeth? <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. Everybody's picking on you about my teeth. Well, I fell in love with your daughter and I married her, and now I'm turning human. It's about time. We had to do so, something. I have to kill somebody in order to get my vampire strength back. Well. There aren't a lot of people around. I know it's very hard to find a virgin nowadays. Yeah, yeah you're not going to find one in this town. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, I hear you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but anyways, uh, have you been able to check out the movie The Giant Gila Monster? Oh, yes, I love it. Do you like it? I love it. I love the Gila Monster? Gila Monster. Gila Monster. Gila. 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 Yes. I think we need one for the castle. Uh, I think we need three. Are you, yeah, are you in good. cahoots here with, with they your like daughter? They like to eat a male and two females. Yeah, they mm -hmm. like to eat too. Mm. Humans. Yeah. yeah. Humans? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Well, there is no humans they, here they, besides they, Captain Paul. When well, we get them, they start out eating eggs. Yeah. Pre they prey on mm -hmm. eggs is what they do. Like small animals, yeah. you know, birds, but anything, you are anything half like human. that. Stink okay. eggs. What's that? What? You are half human. Who? You. Right. Now, right. was that moment, moment, are you? I, I, I'm not getting this. Well, not understand. An elder no, told me that if I don't bite somebody uh -huh. soon, I'm gonna lose my fangs, and then the next thing is I'm gonna start. I'm gonna turn human. I know. Yeah. So I gotta. We're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go hunting. I'm gonna have to kill somebody. Even if I have to take my straight razor and cut their throats or we whatever. We have to go. We have to get blood. a heel Let's go. monster. Yeah. What do you want to do? Here. Well, we'll have to go hunting after afterwards. We're going to get a Gila monster first. Oh, yeah. We are getting a Gila. Mm -hmm. For sure. Okay, for all right. We'll put it in your room. Okay. <laughs> I'm a witch. I'm not human. Yeah, okay, all right. Yeah, we know that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so anyway. Do you know um, what a good thing about this movie? What? What? Them guys, weren't they good looking? Don't you think? <laughs> Don't you think they were such nice young men? They were nice, strapping young men. Yes. Yeah. 
You could have married one of them. They had normal that teeth. That is so not my type. They had normal teeth. But no. I got my He's rocker guy. Half normal. My yeah. love. And speaking of which, uh, rocker guy, uh, wasn't the DJ in here is really cool. Right. right. I really like the DJ. You yeah. know what? And what? He, he, you know who he reminded me of? Who? Dick Clark. Dick Clark? Right. Awesome. Remember? Yeah. Remember? Yeah. Do you yeah. remember? Of course. Yes, I, 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 I got drunk wow. with him a couple times. Did you really? Well, of course, Did I was you know? drinking. I was drinking blood. He was blood. drinking his blood. It, he, was drinking, ah, he was drinking martinis, I and I was, he was drinking martinis, and I was drinking blood. But okay, I've never sucked his Clark. finger. Yeah. <laughs> Do you even remember what he was famous for, Mother? Who? Dick Clark. Yeah, he was a disc jockey guy. Yeah, well, what he did he ran? He ran American Bandstand. Okay, all right, there, <sighs> finally. I was kind of worried about you there. So, uh, yeah, a little sharper American than Bandstand. You <laughs> he was, he was, he, you know, Dick Clark was really in that era where yes. all the rising stars, you know, and, and stuff like that. Right. And speaking of bands, we finally came up with a name for our band. We did. Yeah, being out, I'm, we're doing two bands, a Miley Crew tribute band, but now we got a we name are, for yes. another band that her and me are doing. Right. Uh, what is it, Storm? Category 10. Yes, Category 10. Cool name. I right. Like it. Yep. And the other? Well, the other one's Morbid Crew, yeah. So I, I'm very excited. Yeah, yeah. We have, we have plans. Yeah, we, we have can't big wait. plans. We have big plans. We so. want to please everybody that's out there, and yep. we know things that aren't there that you would definitely right. love. Right, 2021 is going to be a breakout year. Oh yeah. yeah. Why didn't Most you tell definitely. me about this? Um, sometimes, mommy, I kind of have. You're to, supposed to tell me everything. Just Not everything. be with my husband. Yeah, just like you tried to nail my coffin oh. shut. Yeah, next time I'll use screws. I heard Captain Paul. What? Oh. oh boy. Ah! What were you doing? Mm -hmm. Looking around the mm -hmm. corner? No, I heard him. Actually, I talked with him earlier tonight. Uh huh. And he gave me the idea though. He told me he wasn't going to mm -hmm. tell you. Well, he already did. Okay, I guess we're going to have to make a meal out of him. No. No. <laughs> no. 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 Not Captain Paul. Yeah, no, you're right, we can't right. do Captain. I know. No, we no, got it. No. Vampires and, and will have salt pirates have uh, right, the code. mutual codes, yes. And that I've learned because you've told me. Yeah, yes. yeah. So, no. so. All right. I want a giant gila. Yes, I know, gila, but gila. did you see what it gila, did? Gila. Did you see what that gila monster did to a tanker in this movie? I did. He blew that tanker up. Yeah. And didn't he wipe out a train? He sure did. <laughs> We're going right yep. under it. Knocked, you know, that he knocked off that uh, those pedestal things on the bridge. And yeah. watching it, you, you'll see, and you'll kind of be like, with the whole set, that's all I'm going to say. With what set? The whole set of the movie. Yeah. You'll know. You'll know. I think that... I you'll think, know. There were a lot of people screaming. <laughs> <laughs> well, I always hear people screaming. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. She doesn't all the time unless yeah. she makes well, it happen. You, you have to be up higher, up in the vampire realm but. to... You know, he she doesn't even have to. She doesn't even have to. Yeah, our senses are so much stronger yeah. and He's so a much sensitive. Oh boy! Yeah. Like we can hear Come spiders spin webs. Dreamer. Ah. We can hear your thoughts. And, you think? Yeah. And we can smell fear in people's blood. Then you should know. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm just letting you know. Okay. We are very I'm sensitive. Ready. All right. We're ready for what? I'm not doing nothing. To warn everyone. Well, you can warn everyone as much as you want. You are Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I love Batman. <laughs> and now we're, and now we're talking now about Batman. Now you got Robin. <laughs> Robin. He's, he's missing a thing. No, actually. <laughs> well, you know what? I didn't take him. <laughs> wow. I'm so sorry. sorry, honey. I'm laughing. It is really funny, though. <laughs> I went from Vlad's son to Robin. Really? Well, maybe I should go find Catwoman. <laughs> oh my God! Yeah. Maybe I'll go find Catwoman. Yeah, well, oh you'll God. find her over here. What's that? Oh, we have a cat too. Yeah, I'm the one. <laughs> So who's your favorite cat? Speaking now that we're on Batman, who's your favorite? Who's your favorite villain in Batman? Catwoman. Mine, Michelle Pfeiffer. Okay. Catwoman. That's Catwoman. Right. Yeah. 
Okay, so yours is, <coughs> yours is uh, Michelle Pfeiffer. Who's yeah. your favorite Catwoman? I just told you. I said it before her. Oh, cool. Catwoman. Yeah, but which Catwoman? <laughs> The original, of course. Julie Newmar. What's her yep. name? Yeah, Julie Newmar is, is, is by far she my favorite. She was the best. So. You know, she uh, is. One thing she is. She's the original, definitely. Yeah. I do yeah. agree. Yeah. But my favorite, the way she played it, is her or Halle Berry. Okay. I love how Halle Berry was. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, what we're going to do is we're going to put you well, into the movie. Huh? I already told you, Julie okay, Newmar. Yeah. Okay, yeah. all right. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put you into the movie and enjoy the giant... Whatever monster. Purple people eater. Hila, Hila, Hila. Yeah. So Hila. Gila, Hila, Shila, Dizzlewila, or Jingleila. Hila. Uh, get back to the movie. Just a minute, not so fast there. <laughs> what for? <laughs> Did you ever play football? With the Green Bay Packers. Hi. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Put me down. No, not till you tell me what's going on. All right, if you close your eyes. I, I don't know what's happening, but they're closed. Keep them closed. They're closed. This is silly. Now, open. Look what Lisa got me. Stay there, Chase. Watch. Wonderful baby, just wonderful. I've been practicing all afternoon, ever since Lisa brought the braces over. And I walked all the way, twice. And I want to do it right for you. <laughs> Would you like to hear a song? There was a mushroom, sad little mushroom. There was a meadow, ready to cry. There was a sparrow, gray little sparrow. There was an eagle, silent and high. And the Lord said, laugh, children laugh. The Lord said, laugh, children laugh. The Lord said, laugh. Children laugh, the Lord said laugh, laugh, laugh. Then the Lord, he said, I created for you a world of joy from out of the blue. And all that is left to complete the joy, just the laugh of a girl and boy. Yay, 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 yay. And there was a garden, beautiful garden, held in the arms of a world without joy. And then there was laughter, wonderful laughter, for he created a girl and a boy. And the Lord said, oh, laugh, children laugh, the Lord said, 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 laugh, children laugh, I never felt any more like laughing than I do right now. I didn't think you'd be able to do that good in a week. Didn't you, really? Honest, but you know, you're gonna have to work real hard. And you mustn't be disappointed if it takes a long time, okay? That's enough for one day, Missy. It's your bedtime. Do I have to, Chase? <laughs> <laughs> 
You sure do. Show me how you can walk. Good night, Lisa. That was a wonderful thing for you to do, Lisa. I wanted to. Now you're broke, aren't you? I was going to pick him up in the morning. I know. When you showed me that money, I was afraid you'd get there first. Well, I'm still going to pay you for it. No. Oh, yes. No. Yes. Hello. Yes, Sheriff. Well, you should have been back an hour ago. No. Where? That's awful. No, it couldn't be Mr. Compton. All right. But... At the garage? All right, I'm leaving now. What is it, Chiz? It's a wreck, an oil truck. It could be Mr. Compton. Honey, I'm awfully sorry, but I've got to leave. She's all shiny and bright, Now, we'll Brad. take my Go car. On. Come on, Harris. Did you see it? No, I didn't see it, but I sure heard about it. Can I open this thing up? Yeah, go ahead. Crawl away. Let's look around. Come on, Harris. Okay. Compton! Mr. Compton! Find anything, Sheriff? Well, let's go over this again. How did you get into the act? I told you once. Well, tell me again. Well, I was barreling along in my Model A. She don't look like much now, but she used a beauty when I first the got accident. into The accident. He'll go, though. Get up to 60. The accident. Yeah. Just the accident. Well? I'll tell you. I wish you would. This feller seen the headlights coming up the grade towards him, and all of a sudden they come as to going over and over, then blew him. Blew him! She blew up. Well, he seen somebody is in a mite of trouble, so uh, he come in the store talking about it. That's when I offered to call you. Did you get the name of the witness? No. Did he see anything else? No. Do you want to wait in the car for us? No. Well, you're going to, anyway. Okay, Sheriff, okay. Like you say, always obey the law. Do this, do that. Somebody tells you no, somebody... Any luck, Chase? No, nothing. Pat and Liz might have eloped. But Compton ought to be around here. Maybe he's in the hospital. No. I checked there before I left my place. Would Compton have any reason to want to get lost? No, none that I can think of. You would have no reason to know about this, but there's been a lot of livestock missing lately. One here, one there. That doesn't make headlines, but now it's people. And you think there's a tie-up? I don't know. What we need is a criminal investigator, and headquarters won't send one down here. Well, maybe they will now. Yeah, maybe. Did you notice those skid marks? Just like the others, straight across the road. If it had been hit by another vehicle, the paint would be knocked off. What batters a car around like it was a toy? Ask Bart coming along for the party. All right. I'll be done in about an hour or so. Say, you and Chase sure got off light. You took off this morning. You've just been sitting around here on your can all day long. That barn was a place to clean. Did you get the high-five set up? Yeah. 
Well, you steamboats and dreamboats, that's that steamroller steam on another session steam of the old steamroller here at KILT. Now, if any of you round rocks get lonesome for my voice, I'll be emceeing a flatter party tonight out at Hargit Hayes Barn on Route 43. Drop in. I'll flatten you. Hey, man, that's us. We got the steamroller coming out. That's where Chase has been all day, getting steamrolled. This will be a blast. How about that guy? You sure had a busy day getting that paint job and Steamroller Smith. Now, how'd you guys find out about Steamroller Smith? Well, he just said so on his program. Said it right out over the network. Oh, I wanted it to be a surprise. Well, come on, don't spread it around, huh? How are the preparations coming? Oh, that'll be finished about 45 minutes. The gang won't start arriving from east until 9.30. We're under the wire with time to spare. No sweat. Hate the ground you walk on, little darling. For all them things that you have did to me. Oh, you nag me till you whore, so I'm a suing for divorce. Little darling, I'll forget your memory. Hey, <laughs> Gribbs, it's good. the same story the man down here told me. Something real strange must have happened down there. Oh, yeah, yeah. He'll be handy if you want him. Right. Sit down, Harris. You be going down to the wreck, Sheriff? No, that's not in my territory. Headquarters already have a report. The troopers will take care of that. Harris, tell me again about the train wreck. Well, I was driving along quite like in my model A. Bought it at 32 for six... Just a minute, just a minute. I ask you what time it is, and you tell me how to build a clock. Just the facts about the wreck. Well, I was driving along quite like in... The wreck. Then I... Turn around and come back down here and told you about it. Give me your keys, Harris. Keys? 
Arky? What for? For spinning a yarn like that and driving while drunk. I demand a sobriety test. Yeah, that does it. Go like yourself, Buck. I demand a sobriety test because I ain't been drinking. Well, at least I'm not heavy. Whatever you think's right. Put your ways yourself. Put your ways. Well, you can't win them all, can you, Sheriff? You can call your wife if you want to, Harris. What? <laughs> Are you crazy, Sheriff? My baby, she rocks and rolls and rocks whenever she talks. My baby's hey. a rock and roll. Hey, you gonna leave home? I'm going to spend the night with the Blackwells. Mommy said it was all right. Will you take me over? Well, I don't know, Missy. Gosh, that's two or three miles out of my way. And... Oh, sure, we will. James, what in the world have you done to that car of yours? It's a new fuel mixture. You like it? I just barely touched the gas pedal and the back wheel started to spin. Why, I was two blocks down the road before I even knew I'd left home. Come on, Mom, I'm just trying to make a hot rodder out of you. I'll get it. Hello. Yeah, hello, Sheriff. The what? Book on reptiles. Yeah, I guess I still have it around here somewhere. Yeah, sure. I have to take Missy over by the Blackwells. I'll stop by on my way to pick up Lisa. Okay? Well, now I'm going to tell you something you don't know. I've been talking to a zoologist. And the Gila monster size is controlled, uh, like everything else, by a sort of a thyroid or pituitary gland. Sometimes a change in diet can throw the balance all out of whack. Either the cells break down too fast or build up too slow. And this upset makes either runts or giants out of them. Good, but what's that mean to me? Oh, I'm coming to that. The zoologist also told me about a, a doctor who just found the bones of some huge animals down in Tanganyika. And the theory was that uh, they lived in kind of river delta country, and certain salts had washed into the valley, been absorbed by the plants, and then transferred to the animals, causing them to be giants. Hmm. Well, I... Yeah, I know. I probably sound a little bit like Harris, but yeah. let me tell the whole thing in my own words. There was another report out of Russia or the Ukraine. It was in the paper a couple of months ago. Maybe you saw it. About a baby that weighed 130 pounds when it was 10 months old and was taller than its mother. Grew up to be a giant. Yeah, and that same thing could happen right here. Did you see any footprints around any of those wrecks? No. Gila monster footprints? Yeah, a big one, about the size of a bus. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Well, I don't know. But Harris saw it, and some survivors of the train wreck saw it. A giant lizard. Train wreck? Where? At the bridge over Wilson's Wash. When? Tonight, about an hour ago. The troopers were inclined to pass it off as shock or optical illusion. And you can't always believe what Harris said. A Gila monster. Pink and black stripes. You know, I towed a guy in the other day, and he said he'd been forced off the road by something like that. I didn't believe him because he'd been drinking. And another thing, when we were looking for Pat's car, we saw where something had been drugged down the wash. You know, if they could have gotten that big, they could have knocked Mr. Compton's truck off that road. They could have gotten him. I shouldn't have told you about this until after the party, but I just thought you'd want to know. Hadn't we better warn everybody? No. It operates in and around the 
Warish. Troopers have got that staked out for a couple of miles. Just keep it to yourself. It might cause panic. Okay, Sheriff, whatever you say. Try and forget it for now and have some fun, will you, boy? Yeah. surprise for you. We got the king of the DJs. Now, you, now you've all heard him on his platter show on KILT. That's right. Okay, your old dad here has some small words and some great records. I want you to have a ball tonight. Let's begin with one of the top kilt survey songs. What do you say now? Let's everybody dance. Here we go. Let's go, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back, my friends. I hope you're really enjoying this movie. Uh, I am. I'm a little sensitive, though. I know. I know. I'm getting. I'm getting human here. <laughs> yeah. And my and eyes I... are watering. I know. There's I'm something down here in this dungeon that's making my eyes water. I don't know if it's that or if it's you need to feed. I don't know, but if I turn human, He's you're going to have to take over. Because um, I'll be human and I can won't I be dead or no more. Can I bite no, you? No, can't, it can't reverse it. So it means... We need to go feed. Well, it means you... You're not hungry, honey. I'll just be human no, no. and... He needs to feed. You're going to have to There won't be no more Decker. Decker no. will be gone. No, honey. We just got married. I'm not going to lose. Then he'll be dead or well. Okay, well, well. Are you well, ready? No, we got a movie to do here. Okay. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, what are you I'm so hard. happy about, mother? Oh, boy. So, yes. I know. So, what animal? That's what. What animal did you kill to get that shirt? Um, it was a leopard. You killed a leopard? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to be nice and bring him your blood. Or bring him. Bring you Wait. his blood. Oh, but I don't drink I animal blood. I decided not to be nice. I don't drink animal blood. Well, that's good. Yeah, you know, for years <laughs> vampires had to live off rat blood in the in the streets of. That's why there's such a rat. In the streets of London, because mm -hmm. they're so because they're so afraid of getting killed, so the vamp we had to go underground us vampires oh. yeah. and live off rats. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Should have stayed there. Mm -hmm. Well, I was more. I'm royalty, so oh. I was in with the, oh, so I. I was in with the Valtteris and stuff. So mm -hmm. we didn't have to live off rats. We lived off of witch's blood. Hmm. So, yeah. Mm. In his <laughs> dreams. <laughs> so anyway, he would have picked up something, though. Yeah. Yeah, you never know. You pick mm -hmm. up. Yeah, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm surprised it didn't turn green and grow a wart on my nose. Yeah, well, you yeah, was close. <laughs> so, any, so anyway, uh, I hope you're enjoying this wonderful movie. And, well, Compton disappeared. He's driving a truck and he disappeared. So the giant purple people eater ended up <laughs> eating Compton. You know? Oh, my gosh. He yeah. was hungry. Giant and now hungry. Compton's going to be compost. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, basically. Well, yeah. Mush it up. You gotta mush it up. Well, he's gonna come out as compost. Yeah, I know. Compton. Yeah. And then, then, yeah, mush it up. But what do you think about Steamroller Smith? I don't know. The DJ, Steamroller Smith, from the city. Isn't he really cool? He the is. The one that looks like Dick Clark. Yeah. Yes. And he yeah. wanted he wanted Chase to sing one of his songs at the. At the house. That was uh, totally cool when he announced that he, and he didn't even say him, he said somebody. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And then all of a sudden the girlfriend, right. Yeah. yeah. And that was so cool. Yeah. You know, because this is his first one, and yeah. that's special, and in front of all his family and friends, that was yeah. amazing. But he's yeah. saying, he's saying that's that. That's exactly he's how He's saying I that song to his sister. Right. 
when he found out that she got the braces from her lips. That's yeah, right. the little ukulele. Aww, mm -hmm. she was so Yeah, cute. she's got the braces awesome. now and yeah. she can walk. Yep, that's yeah. awesome. She can walk, that's so awesome. But you know what I really liked in this movie? What? Not to be, you know, everybody's got their favorites. Everybody's got their favorite teams. Everybody, you know, we don't um, bash other teams, you know, and stuff like that. But uh, everybody's, like I said, everybody's got their favorites and all the power to you and all the power mm -hmm. to your team. Right, thought, absolutely. The Green Bay Packers were actually mentioned mentioned in this movie. Yeah, yeah because they are. Okay, good. and now, yeah. The day we are taping right now is they want today. So we're extremely excited because we're Packer fans. Woo! Sorry, I'm sorry. Go Pack all! Um, Packer but, fans anyways. are the best. They have the best tasting blood. Ah, because they love to so eat brats and beer. Right, beer brats. Yeah. You're right, beer brats totally. and beer. They have the well, best. Beer dip and right. Yeah, they really know how to. They really know how to mm. cook it. You can just. So much. If I want to go out on a Sunday night, and if I'm hungry for a brat or a burger or something like that, I'll just go feed on a Packer fan. You but know? you don't have to be a Packer fan neither to have brats and beer. Well, that's true. But especially on a Sunday. Yeah. Yeah, but. It just makes it more special. Yeah, so, but yeah. Go back, go. Yeah. But it's a, it's really really interesting because this was done. Mm -hmm. This movie was done in 1959. Right. And they didn't actually start having Super Bowls until what was it, 1965, 1966. Right. And yep. the Packers won the first couple of Super Bowls. Uh huh. So you're talking about before. You know, we had the NFL and the you know and the NFC and and stuff like that, AFL and all that stuff. You know, and uh, so this was going way back to the Curly Lambeau days yep. of when mm -hmm. Curly played for the Packers and the Bears. Right. The Bears and the Packers are actually the oldest, oldest rivalry, you know, they in, in the NFL. That's why like it's so things. fun because, you know, us Packer fans, yeah. we'll, we'll do the rivalry thing with people, but yeah, we're, yeah. we're very friendly. And yeah. we, we accept. Well, there's a few know, idiots out there. there. Well, of course. On both sides. There's the, both, both sides. sides. Both sides. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Not but, just one side, but there are right. idiots on both sides that got to that gotta create havoc and stuff like that that can't be yeah. grown-ups when they go watch a game. But, um, oh, well. Those yeah. are the ones we usually eat. That's right. <laughs> and then they get drunk. Who gets drunk? We the do. vampires that because eat them after they're drunk. Yeah. And eating their brats. Oh, you know what? I I tell you what. You know what the worst uh, human to feed on is? Mm. Someone on blood thinner. Man, when you bite them, it just sprays everywhere. Right. It's okay. Yeah. And it's like fast. thinner. Uh -huh. So you don't. It's like you're not. They bleed out so fast. So you're not you know? fulfilled. Huh? No. So you're not no. fulfilled. No, because it's spraying everywhere. It's not like a nice steady gush in your mouth. It's like. Well, I take right. an aspirin daily. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so it I'm glad I got that off my I want chest. a healer. Mm -hmm. When? Huh? When am I getting a healer? Uh, soon. 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 Because, you know what? First, we're taking you. You need I want a beater. I, I want a no, you got to get the healer first. I want a bearded dragon, too. Absolutely. I want a bearded dragon. Yeah, and I want a giant Komodo. Oh, that's what I was talking about before. Yeah, a Komodo, Komodo dragon. 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 Three of yeah, them as well. Once that like no, to munch on witches. <laughs> Not you, of course. You're exempt. Okay, mother, you too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. So I think uh, you know. You think we should put him back in the show, or, or? I think we're gonna think about something. A little, a little spell. Yeah, something. Just for a little while. What? Huh? What are you talking about? You collaborating oh, I with your mother? I don't know. Just talking about something. Talk? We're gonna no, family uh, talk. Just family you know, talk. You know, we just witches against vampires. All of a sudden, uh, hmm. I see where this is going. Half uh -huh. vampires. What? Yeah, I know. How can I be against vampires? You can't. But I don't know. Your mom's gonna whip something up. Half I just vampire. know it. She'll probably feed me a potion. I'll grow back purple teeth. <laughs> <laughs> then you can call me a purple horns. people eater. <laughs> Could do that, that might be really cool. I got but that song see, on my mind. See, here's the idea of what we're supposed to do. It, I got that song on my mind ever since uh, Captain Paul you know, came on and said it. Yeah. What's well, a one-eyed, one-horned? One-eyed, So if something one happens, you can't horn. get mad at me, right? What is it? Wild purple well, people no. eater. Well, yeah. Yeah, I can. Yeah. yeah, yeah it was yeah. his idea. Mm, mm, mm. So, I don't know. 
Maybe you ought to introduce mom, your your mother or mom. I can call you mom now. Ah, <laughs> to um, Captain Paul. That's all right. Yeah. Maybe he'll show you how to walk the plank. It's a really fun game. Deadwood. Where are those screws? <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> so what? Wait, wait, where screws? where are the screws? Where do you keep them down here? We don't use screws. Well, we're gonna start. Oh boy. Okay. All right, my friends, so what we're going to do is we're going to put you back into the rest of this movie yes. and enjoy. I will take care of The giant purple pink Gila monster. Gila, Gila, Gila. Yeah. Gila. Now, do you mind telling me what this is all about? Have you been down to the train wreck? No. Well, I have. I talked to a trooper about my son's car. He said it shouldn't have been moved until a thorough investigation had been made and it had been photographed. This wasn't done, was it, Sheriff? I thought not. It was removed and clues lost without authority. You didn't put that in your report, did you, Sheriff? Of course you didn't, and I'll tell you why. You were protecting that Chase Winston. Covering him regardless of the effect it might have on others. Chase was only trying to help. He's your son's friend. Probably the best one he ever had. Of course it wasn't in the report. What good would it do? Any kid can make a mistake, Mr. Wheeler, even yours. But, Sheriff, it's my son that's missing. Let me ask you something else. Have you heard the reports about a giant lizard? Do you believe them? I don't know, Mr. Wheeler. Doesn't seem possible. Well, why not? There have been giants before. That's true. But how could anything that big go unnoticed in this area? Have you ever walked the length of Williams Wash? No. You know anybody that has? No. That area is so choked with underbrush, it isn't even good hunting ground. And I say it is possible for a giant lizard to have lived there for years without being seen. Now, if that is the case, my son's dead. So's Compton. I can't blame you for what's happened to Pat, but Compton's death is on your hands. How did you come to that conclusion? I'll tell you how. His truck was found only two miles beyond Pat's car. And if you'd investigated that area thoroughly, as you're paid to do, Compton might not have died. Well, now come out here. I want to show you something else. Now, something may have hit this car, but it didn't take the tires off. And where did those new white sidewalls on Chase Winston's hot rod come from? Here, I guess. There was a tow in charge against he us. He presumed the bill wouldn't be paid, so he borrowed the tires in the meantime? Perhaps. That's thievery, destroying evidence and obstructing justice. Now, your last official act of office will be to arrest that boy and bring him in. And I'll go along to make sure that it's done. A fellow dropped in over KILT the other day and played me a great new song. I thought it was just fine. I want to play it for you. We got a little pickup uh, group together and cut a demo disc on it. I want to play it for you now and see what you think about it. By the way, the first person who identifies the singer on the record gets two free rides on my elephant in Bangkok, Siam. <laughs> but you got to pay your own way over there and back. Oh. Oh. 
Okay. Here it is. Now see what you think of it. I'll never promise not to stray. Cause they aren't made of that way. Hey, great. No, they aren't made of that way. <laughs> but if you made an hard design, well, I can give you gold and fine. Yes, I can give you gold and fine. feathers yet. I'm going to play the rest of it. How do you like it? <laughs> okay, who's the singer? Elvis, one of the Everly. Bill Darnell, Kate Smith. Oh. Oh. Very funny, but you lose. Look, the same guy you hear singing on the record also wrote the song. Now, now, who is it? Does anybody know? Well, no, no. Who is it? Okay, okay, okay. It's going to come out on records in a couple of months, and you can find his name on the label. Oh, oh no, no, no. no. Tell us. Chase did it. You're oh, oh, You did it, Chase. Why didn't you say something? You didn't tell us. Well, I didn't know there was anything I'd want to admit to. Oh, 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 oh. Come on up here, boy. Come on. Oh, oh. Come on. Chase, come on. Also, over at the station the other day, Chase played me another little song. It's kind of different from this one. But I imagine with a little coaxing, you know, by hitting your hands together like this, he might give you a little preview of it. What do you say? Yeah, yeah, come on, come on, come on. And the Lord said, laugh, children laugh, the Lord said laugh, children laugh, the Lord said laugh. Children laugh, the Lord said laugh, children laugh. Stop that thing. I don't know, but I'm going down to the train wreck and get some troopers. If we pump enough lead into that thing, we may hit a vulnerable spot. We know you're going to have to give me a hand. But how? Keep these kids here. I don't want anybody roaming around. Where are we going? Storage shed. I've got an idea that might work. You 
you've been after this, now you've got it. You're deputized. Listen, kids, Winner's my deputy. You'll take your orders from him. Arrest anybody that tries to get away. The sheriff says this is the place to stay. Well, we're not staying here. That's right. I'll have to arrest anyone that leaves. No, we're oh. leaving. and wait inside the office till I get back. I told you to wait inside. Why don't you do what I tell you? I haven't got much time. You're not going to leave me, Chess. I'm going to help. Do you know what's in here? Nitroglycerin, enough to blow up half this town. It doesn't matter. I'm still going to help. All right, now take these and hold them, and don't let them bump. And for heaven's sakes, don't drop them. Now hold those. They generally travel in a straight line. Good Lord, he's hit the Blackwell home. That's where Missy is. Mrs. Blackwell. We're cutting across. Keep that stuff still. Do you want to blow us up? There they are! There is Missy! Missy! It's all right, Missy. It's all right. Lisa, get Missy and hold her down. And both of you lie flat. Right. I was scared, Chase. Oh, that's okay, honey. I tore my new dress. Oh, we can get you a new dress. Oh, a hundred dresses. Everybody all right? Yeah. On the way back, we picked up his trail. Followed him across country. What did you hit him with? My brand new 100% completed hot rod. You'd have had to start in the next county to get up enough momentum to do that to him. Not with four quarts of nitroglycerin riding with you. You rode across that rough field carrying nitro? Yes, sir. Do you know what could have happened to you? It did. 
I lost my car. Oh, don't worry about that. The railroad will be glad to buy you a new one. Did you see it? I sure did, Missy. You were really traveling. I thought I told you to keep those kids up at the barn. Well, uh, how do you arrest a bunch of kids going in all different directions? Do you realize what would have happened if that thing had turned back? Same thing that happened to Pat. Sheriff, your job is a much bigger one than I thought. Since Compton's gone, I guess Chase is out of a job. That's right. Would you make it a point to have the boy come around and see me in the morning? I'll bring him around in the morning. Welcome back, my friends. Well, I hope you enjoyed this movie. Uh, you know, I have to t I have to say, I never thought about blowing up a giant monster with nitroglycerin. Yeah, me neither, and I probably wouldn't, especially a Gila. And you know how unselfish <sighs> of Chase to give up his car, right? To kill the monster. I mean, I mean, yeah. I'm so and that unselfish was, of him. Right, and that was that was an explosion. That like, was a heck of an explosion. Oh gosh, yeah. and it was just there after. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But you know, there was a scene that we were talking about that you were with laughing the cars? But with the cars. Right. <laughs> Do you want to actually look? explain that? Well, by now, you guys obviously, you know, yeah. have seen it. So. You know the scene where they're all in a barn, they're having fun, they're partying, they're dancing, he's singing, DJing. Are you okay? Mm, yeah, go ahead. No, 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 no. Keep no. talking, keep no. talking. No. Keep talking. But they're what? Oh my gosh. So, so they're partying, they're dancing, you know, all that, DJing and whatnot. And, oh my gosh. It, it was cool. But then he kind of like crashed through, like, hey, I'm the party monster. Well, yeah, through the wall. Yeah, and yeah. They all freaked out, and they were all looking right at the wall. But it, <laughs> you could tell, you know. Yeah, it, but what about the cars? Were the cars like models? That's what I'll talk about. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Better. Yeah. Even better. Yeah. You could just see, you know. Obviously, when you see that part for sure, and you go back if you watch it again, you'll see so many things like that. Um, but with the cars. You know, what's going on with the cars and whatnot, you obviously can see. Thank God it's not claymation. I'm going to say that right now, but it was a real one. How they, a real Hala, Hala monster. Well, how did they train, yeah, how did they train a Gila monster to walk over cars? And they, they were obvious. Matchbox toys, cars. You know. or Hot Wheels or but, whatever you want to call. What a great movie, right? And especially, like you said, to train a Gila to, you know, yeah. go over the cars and go right, where you right, want it right. to go and, yeah. you know, all the slithering it does and whatnot. I mean, yeah, the training. Yeah, yeah, that, that was really cool. Yeah. But like I said, uh, he, you knew Chase had to come to a conclusion here and save his, his, what, his sister? Sister, Little sister. Yes. yeah. Because she fell out in the middle of the field right. and that Gila monster's going to come eat her, you know? Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. so... But uh, all, all came good. All came good. Right, right, yeah. right. So. Yes. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh. Don't. Hold on. <gasps> okay, we need to go. Okay. We need to go. It's what? time. It's I, time. I, I lost my other tooth. Yes. It's sit time. down. Sit down. We got to no, finish up. No. We need to stop it. Stop the show. Yeah, we got Pat. Captain Paul is going to come to the rescue. Captain Paul, where are you? Or you not I can't see my eyes. You are not eating him, and I'm not going to bite him for you. No, no, I can't see. I can't. Captain I'm, Paul, I hate Captain Paul. Who is is there a right here? He looks a little safer. Where's Paul? Paul? Hmm. Where's Paul? I can't see. You can't see now? No, I can't. I'm going to have to disappoint you again, what? too. Hi, Paul. I heard you were looking for me to teach someone how to walk a plank. Yes, absolutely. That's no. a myth. What's that? It's a myth. You don't, you don't, we don't do that. You don't walk. You don't no. make people walk the plank. That was some painter that did that. Just and, like the vet. Yeah, well, Vikings with their the horns. Movie? Yeah. And it's Opera's fault. Really? The movies. Opera's fault. The yep. movies. Okay. Well, I got 
someone that uh, I want to introduce to you because I really no. think she well, would yeah, be good at scrubbing a deck. Well, <laughs> yeah, indentured servitude is legal in my area. Okay, so, so you, she can scrub the deck. Yep. Okay, after, I heard she's really good. After years, I heard she's really good at scrubbing wax yeah. on, wax off. You know. Yeah. After. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, that's Karate Kid. Yep. Yeah. Speaking of Cobra Kai, please don't. What are we talking about? It's good. Not well. It's you, you have to be good at it, otherwise every, you get tired. You know, she's kick, not kicking them. And Just give her a toothbrush. She'll do really good. What's a toothbrush? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> What's so anyway, I, I I'm sorry, Paul. I can't see you. Hmm. I mean, uh, my visions. There's something wrong. I lost I, my teeth. I, I, I was going to show. Get it. I was going to show you. I have the pirate codex on my phone, but you can't see it. And the way your teeth look, I don't have to worry about it unless I can't run fast enough. I think I'm pirate. probably going to have to go bite somebody get some blood for him uh, really soon. I don't know. Do you want to stay here? You want to come with me? You want to pick up out? I don't know. Uh -huh. So you you got a pirate. Well, you got a pirate, pirate right? codex. You probably saw it in that Pirates of the Caribbean. Is that a camera? No, that's that great big book. Oh. That was so... Oh, it's a book. Yeah, all the rules. It's a book. Oh, I got the mixed up. The agreements we made with, like, vampires yeah. and stuff. I got mixed uh, up. I thought you meant yes. pirate codex. Never mind. No, oh it has something to do with blood, but not that much. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, I don't I, I, I don't have slightest yeah. clue. Yeah, it, it's a great big book. Oh, well, what well, you're explaining it sounds like a great big contest. Well, yeah, when it swells, never mind. But <laughs> okay. oh. we, we, we put it on a smartphone because it's a lot easier to carry. What, it's a lot, what's a lot easier to carry? carry. Your, so, your contacts? Yeah, it's in this little plastic case, so you can take, wait a minute. No, like the book. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All yeah, right. it's a book. Do you sell them at Woodman's? No. The book? Keith Richards had it. Oh, Keith Richards got it. Yeah, well, the book on, on, Jack Sparrow's on the book. father and oh yeah, and well and yeah, Keith was Richards. Played by yeah, Keith Richards, okay. his hero. So. Yeah, his hero. Yeah, right. that's where he got that. That's right. Is he, he a vampire? Got... Who? Keith Richards. No, why? He's looked like he's been dead since the sixties. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't age. He's, he's always doesn't... been old. Yeah. He does. I'm telling you, it's all them good cigarettes he smokes. Oh, uh, you got a kind of bite in Illinois? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know. It's just rock and roll is, you know, he sold his soul to the devil, you know. So. Oh, yeah, there's that. He's got that. Uh, he's he's going to yeah, live a very long time. One. Yeah. What? Yeah, he would. Yeah. But uh, anyway, that's yeah, a good thing you brought that up about uh, Dem Johnny Depp. He kind of took on the Keith Richards swag. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's what he patterned himself after. Yeah. And he made us look good. Ah, yeah, he did. Everybody he did. used to hate us. Now they love us. Yeah, yeah that was weird. Right. It's like really the highest easy to get their money when they love you. It's love actually the, the highest. Way he yeah. played you guys. Yeah. yeah. And loved it. You know, I mean, he was so entertaining. And, I mean, obviously it's a little different in the real world, but... He'd make a good joker. Pirate right, right. Right. Back to Batman again. Pirate yeah, Batman. Yeah, Batman. Yeah. Yeah. Batman! Pirate costumes are actually yeah, one of the coolest uh, costumes at Halloween parties now. Oh yeah. You know, they, mm -hmm. they still are. And if you need one, I know where you can buy one. Where okay. Can, oh, my Paul? store, Steampunk General Store in down, uptown Kenosha. There you go, it's right there. You've seen it right there. You see it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah there's my address, okay. there's my phone number. Come in, if you want to be a pirate for this uh, Halloween, come and visit uh, Captain Paul at his uh, store, and he will get you all set up. He right? has corsets, he has... Everything. Great, he has great pirate things. boots. Yeah, everything. You got the coats and everything. All of it. Yep. All, all of it, yes. Yep. Very fun star. So anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed the movie tonight. And yes! the one more thing we want to say is uh, Windigo Fest mm -hmm. coming up. It was going to be actually be October 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. But being with the COVID virus and everything, they had to scale mm -hmm. back this year. Yeah. So we're only going to have it one day, which is going to be on Saturday, uh, October 3rd. But you know what? Everything's still planned. We're going to have a lot of entertainment there. We're going to have bands. We're going to have right. sideshow acts and everything. And it's at at 10 o'clock, I believe, or uh, is it noon? I think it's going to start at 11 or noon and go until okay. 11 at night 10, or do midnight. You, do you know any of the vendors that actually have committed to it? Uh, Stinky Goblin, of course, is going to be there. Okay. Oh my god, I'm, I'm like peeling the skin off of me. Oh. You should. Yeah, we can talk okay. about this later. Anyway, if you want. yeah, Stinky Goblin's gonna be there. Uh, they they actually do a lot of the um, 
poster and flyer work for them. Okay. Yeah, so Joe and Heather are going to be there, good friends of mine. Right. And, yeah, uh, I've heard. yep, Rat Bat Spider is going to be there. Yeah. And I heard that there's this going to be this killer, um, uh, Rob Zombie tribute band. All be right, there. yeah. Rockin', rockin oh, Hillbilly. I can't yeah. wait. I can't wait. Yeah. And, Have you uh, heard? What's Have that? you heard them? I've heard them. They're really good. They, okay. He sounds just like Rob Zombie. Okay, nice. Yeah. And they Very play cool. like Rob Zombie. So, Very yeah, cool. he's a good band. So yeah, you know we're not gonna have as many we're not gonna have as many bands as we uh, normally have because it's not gonna be a two day event, but right. it's gonna be a lot of fun. You still should come up and check it out. It's gonna be a blast. It's, yeah, yeah. Just have everybody play faster, then you can get them all in. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. We'll see. We've always been that <laughs> you gotta move the equipment yeah. every time, yeah. and it's yeah. just uh, right. So my friends. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Again, I hope you enjoyed the movie tonight. And you know what? If you want to watch another movie after this, I would recommend watching Blue Hawaii. Right. Yep. Absolutely. So I think, actually, I, I, I was talking to so. Mother earlier. Yeah. And she said that after we get done doing our little shindig down here, she was going to put Blue Hawaii on for us. Okay. First, yeah. and she need mentioned to something about First she had a. Need to feed. She mentioned something about having a blue potion for me. No. Yeah. Yeah, I saw Decker. a little. Decker. 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 She said Decker. if we're gonna watch Blue Hawaii, I have to have like a blueberry potion. Dugger, how many times do I have to tell you you can't take nothing? Oh. But she was nothing. so convincing. She was that smiling face. You can't. You are so and sweet. Goes, and she called me no. my, her favorite son-in-law. Well, I'm her only daughter, honey. Okay, all right. <laughs> Do you get it? Ah, I get it now. Yes. Okay, all right. All right, my friends, so you we'll don't see. remember history. You don't say nothing, Mommy gives you okay. nothing. Okay. I have you. We're going to go before we watch it. She had these really soft blue, like, gummy things. I'm sure they probably blue. taste it. And she said that she'll make Fabulous, me see. Fabulous. She said cool. that they would make me see all kinds of weird things. Like I bet. Yeah, she says they're a good hallucinogen. So, yeah, probably more than even that. She said, oh, no. Decker, you got to eat this. And she says it, it'll just make you see all kinds of things. Sure yeah, well, you don't cold. want that. I don't know. Because you, want, you don't want stuff like that. Okay, all story. right. No. All right, my friends. So we will see you again next time on Decker's Dark Coffin Classics. And uh, I, I had fun tonight. Oh, so, so did I. Thank you, thank Kevin you. Paul, for coming thank on. Thank you, Captain thank Paul. Thank you. Yep. You, bet, I mean, you, you think you noticed you know. I put a commercial for my show, my store in there? I don't think I you don't noticed. I don't think you did, no. Oh, hi. But we, <laughs> yeah, we, we we do. We have a commercial for for. Uh, yes, which we're, no. he, no, it I mean, still has to I be went. edited. Steve Punk General Store in Kenosha. Ah. Oh, okay, that one. Okay, all right. But we do have a commercial. We are going to be putting out for Captain Paul. Yeah, as well. yeah. So we'll see you again next time on Decker's Car Coffee Classics. And remember, as always, happy, happy night, man. man.